Hello, welcome to this more unboxing. Uh, well, today will be a new flying control board. Uh, well, uh, about this uh, board, this is a Flip 32 Plus. Okay, I took in Banggood. So here is the board, uh, very similar to any uh, CC3D controller or um, uh, the Naze 32. Well, so it's a 36 millimeter by 36 square. So what you have in this small uh, plastic bag is. Uh, uh, the board itself and um, the male uh, 2.54 millimeters of uh, pines eaters so it can be very useful and particularly uh, well uh, in fact um, uh, if you plan to install uh, for example a base flight uh, uh, or a clean flight you will need to uh, solder uh, take two pines like this as I did and solder exactly here these two, uh, you can make a close up there. So you have to install these two pine there. Okay, so they're on the opponent side, as you can see here. Okay, here exactly. So you have to solder. So uh, it's allowed to flash a new um, firmware on the board. So um, what you have to do, uh, well, if you try to uh, flash directly with the on clean flight you will have a first uh, me error message okay so you absolutely need to uh, by the first time to use the um, software provided so by STM microelectronics so if I can make uh, a zoom on the PC well I use this excellent web pages there uh, I will give uh, from a drone, drone trust sorry so that com so there is a, a very nice explanation how to do it so uh, first uh, you will need to install uh, the uh, driver uh, associated with the uh, UART uh, uh, controller so uh, you have to go to uh, these pages uh, so from Silicon Lab so the CP200 10 hex okay usually it's often already installed on your machine because uh, it's a very uh, known and used pro uh, converter USB to stereo converter so uh, you have to install it if it's not done so you have the page of the driver okay so for example on Windows platform you just download here okay and when it's installed uh, when you plug your board inside, uh, you will see on the system manager that uh, you will have a new device associated with the, uh, this um, uh, com virtual FC VCP, sorry, virtual com port appearing. So what you have to do is to download also uh, this um, flash loader demonstrator from uh, st.com uh, web pages so I will give the link and you have to download it and to install and this software will be used to flash at least the first time uh, the for example the clean flight so when you you did it uh, you have to open it by uh, go to the demonstration uh, graphic user interfaces so what also you will have to do is to uh, install uh, through Chrome okay so you have to uh, have a Chrome install and uh, well either you can flash a base flight or clean flight I will make the demonstration with clean flight so when you press on it okay so without connecting anything okay you stay offline you click on the firmware flash of there and for example you have to choose a board so uh, for the flip 32 maybe I'm not wrong if I'm not wrong you have to uh, what is working you have to uh, download the for example the NASE version so here the version 1.3.0 okay and when you do it you click on uh, load firmware okay and what you can do is to when you have uh, you can go to the binary file here you can cl you click on it and you can save it somewhere so it's what I did yes already and uh, go to uh, your project I don't know I think I've got something like flip uh, flip 32 somewhere okay flip 32 and you uh, save your uh, this X file here okay it's already done for me because it's already here and when it's done uh, you can start to flash so the first thing to do is uh, to um, 
and start the jumper. Uh, I use the for a far sky jumper, uh, okay, and to uh, put it like this. Okay, now I'm ready to uh, flash. So after I will um, use I uh, plug the USB to a uh, uh, micro USB, okay, and I will plug to the board like this. Okay. And uh, on your system, uh, it should um, appearing something. Uh, since you have the jumper installed, uh, only the blue LEDs is uh, uh, is solid. And then uh, what you can do, you have to launch the uh, program from ST Microelectronics, the demonstration guy. Okay, this is the software like this. Maybe you can make a small zoom like this. If it's not blur. Okay. Uh, go to uh, by default it's on COM3 for me, etc. Uh, the default speed is uh, 115 200. Okay, you click on next by default and uh, next, and you have to next again and you have to choose the file so you have to browse it. And uh, I told you that it was a clean flight NASE X file. Okay, click on next and it's flashing. Okay, like this. Takes uh, just a few seconds. Okay, so now it's finished can close the uh, software. What you have to do is to uh, turn off the board, remove the jumper, okay, and now you can reconnect. I will uh, reconnect the board. And now you will see that you have at least uh, a blue, red at the beginning and now a flashing uh, green light LEDs. So now if everything is okay, I can go to setup and connect and blah 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 is working as you can see. So clean flight is installed. Okay, and you can go to the configurations. So by default, uh, sorry, I already um, uh, click because I will use the fast sky protocol. So I click on the uh, PPM RX input and so on. Okay. Etc. So basically, it's working. You can uh, install the clean flight on this board. It's good, and the uh, barrow and magnetometer, magnetometer, sorry, are. Um, if I can go to sensors, I so. Okay, you can see that uh, the magnetometers are fluctuating. Okay, as well as the barometers. So it's working. Okay, it's working. Thank you.